I think what sparked my passion for soccer was just the freedom that it allowed me to have. I think I played a lot of sports growing up and soccer was the, the one sport where I felt like I could best be myself, be creative, and that's what I absolutely loved about it. I'm Sophia Smith. I'm a forward for the Portland Thorns and the U.S. Women's National Team. And I'm here with Soccer.com. I have two older sisters, so I was always having two people to look up to and to watch and to kind of learn everything from. So I started playing when I was three, four years old because my sisters were, were playing and I just wanted to be like them. So I think I would say I was probably like 13, 14 years old when I realized this is something that I love to do and something that I want to take seriously. My first national team camp, I was 16 years old and my roommate was Becky Sauerbrunn. Definitely intimidated because Becky is someone that I've grown up watching, I've looked up to my whole life. So the concept of being a roommate with her at a national team camp with players that I've grown up looking up to was just insane to me. So I remember being nervous, scared, intimidated, but also just so excited for that opportunity. I went into it knowing that I just needed to soak everything in, learn from the players. It was an amazing experience because it taught me what it's going to take to be on that team and the level of play every single day in training. It's, it's hard to even explain. I think one has to be in that environment to understand that it's, it's like another world. For the young players coming into the national team, I feel a duty to continue on that legacy and to continue doing what the players that came before us have done and to also take it to a new level. So I think all we have is gratitude towards the players that came before us because they've allowed for us to stand where we're standing. I was so excited to just, you know, be in college and, and play college soccer and it wasn't too long after I got there that I had a bad injury and forced me to think differently about my college experience and I'm really glad that I picked Stanford because I was always told to pick a school that if for some reason you didn't have soccer you would still be happy at and that was Stanford for me. I think getting injured was hard, but in a lot of ways it helped me become a better person because it changed my perspective on things. It allowed me to be grateful for the game even more so than I, I was before because you don't realize how much a part of you that it is until you can't do it for a long time. So I'm thankful that I was able to learn a lot about myself during the process of recovering. Winning the national championship was a dream come true. I think any college athlete dreams of the chance to play in a game like that. So it was surreal and it was just a lot of emotions. The PK shootout is obviously what everyone thinks of when they think of that game. And yeah, I remember Katie made the save and it was just amazing. And that's something that I'll cherish forever. I love Stanford and I love the time that I had there and deciding to leave Stanford was definitely not an easy decision. Everything that I felt after winning the national championship, I felt like it was time and obviously it was hard to, you know, leave behind my team, my friends and just not get that full four years of college experience was definitely hard. When it came time to make that decision, I felt like I was just following my heart and it was gut instinct telling me, you're ready for a new challenge, you're ready for a new environment. Since I was little, I've always wanted to be a professional soccer player and I knew that at the end of the day that was my biggest goal and my biggest dream. So what's ultimately going to help you achieve your goal of becoming one of the best to ever play the game and to play on the national team and win World Cups and Olympics. My debut in Portland was not what I imagined because it was during COVID. There weren't fans in the stadium. So I think when I went into the game, I just wanted to be myself and be Sophie and not overthink anything because I really had nothing to lose. So I just went in there wanting to contribute whatever I could to the team. And I ended up scoring a goal, a header goal. I don't score a lot of header goals. So it was kind of surreal, but yeah, it's definitely something that I'll remember forever because that's what I felt like sparked my confidence in the league and just reassured me that I made the right decision and that this was going to be a lot of fun.
Being an athlete is a very challenging thing and it is not just challenging physically, it's challenging mentally. There's a lot of pressure that comes with it, especially being a young athlete that's kind of in the spotlight. You know, everyone says pressure is a privilege and I completely agree with that because I love what I do and if, if I didn't care, I don't think I'd feel that pressure. So pressure is a good thing to me, but at the same time, it's important for me to balance that in my life and make sure that it's not overwhelming. In tough moments, I think I just try to remind myself that it's just a moment and it will pass and things will get better. And the good thing about soccer is it is a team sport and you have teammates around you to look to for guidance, for support, for belief. As I've continued my career, I've realized the importance of mental health and just the importance of taking care of yourself because at the end of the day, it is just a game. Soccer is not what defines me and realizing that has been hard because for a long time, that is what I, what I thought and what I believed. So kind of changing that thinking into knowing that regardless of what happens with soccer, I am a human and I have so much to bring to this world, I think has been huge in, in helping me just become a happier all around person. I would say to my younger self that I'm proud of her and that we are doing what we dreamed of doing since we were a little girl and it's everything you know I could have imagined and more and it's I'm happy and yeah good job working hard because you got to you got to a good place and still have a long ways to go so just that I'm proud of her probably.